What about the Warriors, where Joe Lacob, the owner, says uh, they are planning for a major overhaul in the offseason. They're going to make some moves. So what you watched last night <laughs> was the deconstruction of a dynasty, and now the rebuild is official, and how long is it going to take? So Clay Thompson, first time since he was a rookie, the four-time champ and five-time All-Star, a little salty, came off the bench. First time since he was a rookie. And his replacement... They drafted Brandon Podjemski, who's kind of clay light, cheaper and younger. So the Warriors now have Jonathan Kaminga, the kid averaging 21 and a half on 57% shooting in the last month. And they got Brandon, who looks like clay, again, younger and cheaper. Can they get good very quickly and work with Steph and Draymond and maybe Wiggins and make something happen? So what's interesting last night, it's so ticked off, inspired and angered Clay Thompson that he had a season high 35 points. He was on fire. But this has always been the hardest part about deconstructing a dynasty. Why? It's not like football, baseball. More than any other league, the association, the NBA, builds from the AAU on. It builds, especially our domestic players, into stars, IG, shoes, fame, who needs college basketball, be a pro, make money. And it makes these guys rich and famous and popular and a bit delusional as they near the end. And so you've heard of the five stages of grief, right? Like the last one is acceptance. It, 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 for former stars, it, it's the, the three stages of NBA dynasty deconstruction. They're angry. They deny it. And then eventually they accept it. Took Carmelo Anthony a long, long time to accept it. And Clay Thompson, just taking place, finally hit the bench last night. He got salty the game before last night with Steph Curry at midcourt. Steph reached out. It was against the Clippers. It, look at Clay just ignored him. <laughs> the Splash Brothers. One of the splashes, not interested. But the Warriors won again last night. They've won 8 of 10. Now they have two emerging young stars. Kaminga now looks like a 20-plus point-a-game guy for the rest of the next 7, 8, 9, 10 years. He can really play. Twitchy, vertical, hops, physical, can really work down low. Looks like they got a star. Took a while, but he came into the league. He was like 18 years old. And this Brandon uh, Podjemski, it, it, it's like clay. It's like they drafted him to replace Clay. Everybody in the world knew it. Clay probably did too, but he didn't want to address it. So they only lost two games in the last 10. They're both the playoff teams. And the question now, can the young kids, as they rearrange the deck chairs and deconstruct the dynasty, can the young kids sort of be good fast? This is why I said about Russell Westbrook. He's a Hall of Famer. Always thought he played with too much tunnel vision. But it was a real man, real adult, real self-awareness move to go to the Clippers, Ty Lue, and say, and say hey, I'll go to the bench. Because Westbrook can still play. Westbrook's still great energy. Westbrook can still jump out of the gym. But it was a real move. It was, it was Russell Westbrook acknowledging very quickly, okay, I can help my team. I'll be the best guy off the bench. I'm not giving you 35 minutes. I'm giving you 23 minutes. A real adult move by Westbrook. It's not a little thing. Westbrook's been a star for 15 years. UCLA, OKC, Houston, wherever Westbrook goes, he's got star power. He's polarizing. He's hyper-athletic. And Westbrook's like, oh, I'm going to go to the bench. It, I, it, literally, I frame Westbrook differently now. That was not a little thing. So Clay Thompson's not in the greatest move. And it was pretty palpable, the tension a couple of nights ago. It's a big change for Klay Thompson. But when you deconstruct the dynasty, if you don't want to become the Bulls where you deconstruct it and then for three years you're unwatchable, just absolutely, if you want to do it so you're kind of sort of still viable and who knows your star Steph still has something in the tank, you got to make these tough moves. You got to, they still, they may move Clay. He'd have to take a huge pay cut. They may move Wiggins, probably would. Not sure, though, if they will. They've won eight of 10. Dynasties are fascinating. Deconstructing them is painful. Steve Kerr's the perfect guy to pivot out of it. Let's see what happens. Caitlin Clark, Iowa star, broke the NCAA women's hoop scoring record. Of course, she's shooting a three. She's the biggest star in college basketball, men's and women's. TV ratings, 
They just beat a Miami-Boston Celtic game about three weeks ago. Why? One of the reasons? She's now familiar. It's year four at Iowa. Men's college basketball, one and done, absolute turnstile. I don't feel like Googling the starting lineup when I want to watch Duke play. And it's what's really hurt college basketball. The TV ratings are weak. There's no continuity. I can't keep track. I am for player empowerment, but I don't think it's good for the product. Back to Caitlin Clark. It is year year four, but really year two or three outside of the state of Iowa where everybody's paid attention. They sell out every road game. It's like a rock band tour. They sell out every road game. Familiarity matters. It's really important. That's why I've said I can like the transfer portal, but in college basketball, who can keep track? Caitlin Clark, year four, their every home game. Last night, another Caitlin Clark show. No lame pilot. It also matters that she's great and fun and a playmaker and unique. She shoots threes that look long by NBA standards. She's a little bit of Steph and a little of Trey Young. Leads the nation in scoring and assists. Again, I'm for player empowerment, but fans want to feel invested and fans want to invest. And she produces double digit returns. She never puts on a bad show, always ready to play. Hurt, she plays. Falls, gets up and plays. Doesn't have off nights. Never shies away from controversy, double teams, aggressive, fun good spirit. It's an excellent TV show, but it also provides the truth about college sports. Transfer portal, NIL, I'm for both, but college men's basketball, it's a, it's a, I, there's no continuity. I can't keep track of anybody. Year two, year three, year four. I like a story I can depend on. Caitlin Clark is that, and she's not finished. Hi, everybody. It's me, Uncle Colin. Subscribe here to get the latest from the herd, including exclusive behind-the-scenes videos and more, wherever you may be, however you may be watching. Thanks again for making us part of your day.